Hey everybody, welcome to Kimmel's Irish Pub. Time for another movie review. Tonight's movie, Dark Phoenix, was not well received by the box office. The first Marvel flop, I think, ever. So it's the um, story of Jean Grey, um, and when she starts to develop her powers, and evidently turns into Dark Phoenix, which is evil, I guess, or a villain, or something along those lines. Don't know the history, um, but um, causes a lot of problems from what I understand. Um, it has a lot of good people in it. Uh, James McAvoy, Michael Fosbender, Jennifer Lawrence, Nicholas Holt, Sophia Turner, she plays Jean Grey, and uh, Ty Sheridan. I mean, you know, it's all uh, Evan Peters, all the X-Men people, you know, the, the new version of X-Men. And uh, I don't know. I'm kind of excited. IMDb, I'm sorry I should have gave you that. I has a 5.9, so pretty low score for a, a Marvel um, comic book movie, but... I'll get into it, find out what it's really about, and then check in from time to time, let you know what it's about and what I'm thinking. So stick around, I'll be back. Hey everybody, I'm gonna do a quick check in here. We're watching Dark Phoenix, and I'll be brief, but we're at the one hour, 34 second mark. Um, and it's kind of what, what I said it was. It's, uh, it's kind of the origin story in a sense of, um, you know, Jean Grey. It shows her as a young child, what happens to her, how she gets in, involved with uh, Xavier and, a, and the school and all that kind of stuff. Very, very brief introduction, brief origin story. And then, um, you know, how she's... And it's the, the younger mutants. So if you've seen a lot of the X-Men's, you know, the ones with Holly Berry and, and everybody else that's in it, this is the younger version, um, which is kind of cool, kind of the way they did that. Um, I went backwards, but that's where we are. Um, so she's a young adult, and part of them, you know, saving people, saving astronauts. And she gets hit with uh, a solar flare, uh, is what they're calling it, and it, like, gives her, you know, she gets really juiced up on her power, but um, also becomes very dangerous. And uh, they start nicknaming her Phoenix because she's kind of bad and rogue. That's where you get the dark phoenixes. So... Um, so she's doing some things, um, you know, she finds out some more about her past that she didn't know, and she's uh, going rogue, and she's out there, and she's, um, you know, hurting different people, and the X-Men are trying to probably bring her back and help her out. That's the whole plot. Um, but so far, I don't quite understand why nobody really liked it. So I haven't read any of the reviews or anything like that, but this first hour has been entertaining, uh, to say the least, and... You know, again, I don't follow the X-Men. I'm not a Marvel fan. I'm a DC fan. And, I, and I've seen all the other X-Men, don't get me wrong. But I don't know any of the comic books. I don't know the, any background. So I don't know if maybe they didn't stay true to that or what happened. But so far, it's a pretty good, uh, you know, X-Men kind of movie. Um, you know, it's what I've been come to get used to. So we'll get into it a little bit more. There's only 53 minutes left. So we'll see what happens from here. But so far, I'm, I'm enjoying it. So... Let me get back to it. I'll see you at the credits. Let you know my final thoughts. Hey everybody. We're at the credits of Dark Phoenix. And uh, I think I kind of get the reason for the bad scores. So stay with me on this. Because um, again, not knowing anything. What I've come to find out, this is the final... X-Men movie. So it's the final one that they're making. They're ending it and this is the ending of it. And with that thought in mind, when you think about, you know, the, you know, you think of Endgame, uh, the final Avengers movie, it's like, whoa. Well, this was a prequel. So this isn't like wrapping up the entire movie series. You know, they go back and they explore, you know, an, a character and do an origin story. So with that in mind, I can understand why True fans are disappointed. I didn't know that going into this. I just thought this was another X-Men movie, and I assumed that there was going to be more after this, and, and it was going to follow this. So, when you think of it that way, I get it, bad scores. I didn't have a problem with the the acting or, or anything like that, the action. Yeah, it was a very high-budgeted film, and maybe it didn't feel like that, but I don't care about that, you know? I don't care how much money they spend to make me happy. Um, yeah, I don't think about those kinds of things. So, but... So I have no problem with that. You know, the main character, she was okay. 
Um, not not fantastic, but I thought the movie was pretty good. I was sitting here thinking, like, where in this timeline did this happen? We know this is Jean Grey as a young adult, um, and you see all the other characters from the previous movies in this. Um, and I, I'm just kind of, you know, I, I have to re re I have to get back to understanding the whole X-Men thing. Because they, you know, when they had it with Hugh Jackman and stuff like that, you knew where it was going and progressed. Got it. Then they come back, and they have all these other characters, the younger generation in it. And I just don't know where this fits in the timeline. Um, it really confuses me, because I know it's a prequel, and there's a lot of things that happen in this that say there's a lot of unresolved issues at the end of this one. For me. Maybe not for everybody else. If you're a comic book fan, or maybe you understand where this resides, you might get it. So, so I enjoyed it a lot more until I realized that there's not going to be any more. They're not going to answer my questions. I had to do research and, and figure something out. Um, but prior to doing that, I, th I really enjoyed the film. I liked the story. Um, and I, I liked that, that there was enough action. There was enough... Um, yeah, you know, I can't say too much because I don't want you to. I don't want it to ruin it for you. But you know, I I was really enjoying the movie. I thought they they took um, risks. I think in certain areas, and uh, and again without sharing those risks with you, I thought okay that works. Uh, I was all, I was expecting a completely different ending, like almost in this. Sorry, this is one ending you don't have to worry about. Like it was a dream, the way people were. You know, speaking about this movie, I thought, oh, that's her just going to fix it all with a dream. Well, it's not. Um, so, I don't know. I, I don't get the hate on this movie. I Well, I guess I do. I'm sorry. If you take the movie for what it's worth, if you're just watching it like a like a prequel, and um, a, a, just a nice little piece for the X-Men storyline, I think you'll enjoy it. But if you come into it thinking this is the final X-Men movie... I'm expecting fireworks and the greatest X-Men thing I ever see. You're not going to get that. I think that that would have been Logan. You know, if you've seen the, the, the movie Logan, that's more of like the finale type movie. Like, it's all over. This is more of just, this is just the last movie they're making. It's not the finale of the movie series, if that makes any sense. That's the best I could do for you there. Um... And that's coming from, again, a guy who doesn't worship the X-Men and, and the Marvel stuff. Um, so I came into it a little blind, but, you know, hopefully maybe that's what you are doing too and you're wanting to find out a little bit more. So that's what I got for you. Again, her as the main character. I mean, James McAvoy and, and Foz Bender and, and uh, Jennifer Lawrence, they're all, you know, we've seen them many times, especially in these movies. They're great. They're fine. Um, I liked all of them. Wasn't sure too much about her, as I said, Sophia, whatever her last name was. Sorry, I don't know that. Um, I didn't think they gave her a lot to work with. It was just a lot of anger kind of stuff. Um, but I could take her or leave her, whatever. Um, I don't know where I was going with all this. But that's it. That's all I got. You know, for all that, I, I, liked, I like what they did. It's a small little piece of the X-Men. I think I'm starting to repeat myself. So anyway, if you've seen it already... Drop me some comments. Love to hear what your thoughts were. Um, me, I enjoyed it um, coming from my perspective. So hopefully you did too. If not, that's okay. Let me know why. Um, and hopefully I was helpful. So hit the like button. Either way, you know, why not? If you haven't already, subscribed. And if you haven't seen this yet, I'll put links to the demand, on demand below. And if you really just want to buy the Blu-ray, I'll put that there for you too. So, all right. Well, thanks for tuning in. I appreciate it. And see you next time, Kimmel's Irish Pub.